our guests today are inspiring us to activate our greatness. And our next guest is no exception. 11-year-old Ryan King and his entire family were born with dwarfism. That's a genetic condition that causes short stature. Ryan has a few gadgets around the house that make life easier for him every day. And it's helped activate his greatness. Take a look. Hi, my name is Ryan King. My whole family and I, we are all little people. So our arms and legs are much shorter and don't grow as fast as average sized people. One gadget that I use in my house is this light thing. It really helps me and my sister to turn off and on the light. Thank goodness for the stool so I can reach this cabinet. Something that me and my family uses is a grabber. About a couple days ago, it was decorating time for Halloween. So I picked up my little spider and I put it at the top. And that is why I like using the grabber. My mom told me that when I was a baby, it was hard for her to get me out of the pack and play. She said that she'd have to tilt the pack and play in order to get me and my sister out. So I invented this invention. to make his and other people's lives easier. It's a modification on the pack and play. He's here with us to show us. Hey, Ryan, fist bump, what's Hi. up? Boom. Yeah. All right, so you saw a need that your family, and despite at the time being 10 years old, you're now 11, you came up with this invention. Can you show me how it goes? So basically all I have to do okay. is just twist the rod and oh. the matches will come up. That is so cool! It is very easy to do. It's not that hard to pull up. Like, I'm already and I use my left hand, so. Okay, so I should point out, the invention is still in development. It hasn't gone through official safety testing, but viewers should not modify their pack and plays. But you are working on this so that it potentially will be available for people. I mean, the show is about activating your greatness. How great did you feel the first time you finally got it done and it actually worked? It did take a couple of hours, yeah. and once once I got it, yeah. it was it really helped. And practicing setting it up, I've gotten way better at it than I. I love that. <laughs> here, come on over here, get you in the seat so I can talk to you some more. So, um, I mean, you're like a rock star scientist, pretty much. I mean, is that your thing? Have you always been good at building? I I really like science. And you really love building. science. You like building and. When I was younger, I. Did a, when you were younger. Well, when I was younger, I played with a lot of Legos. Played with a lot of Legos three weeks ago. You're younger. So yeah. So yeah. So what do you want to be? I mean, you're you're 11. You're almost a tween. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Don't tell mom that. She'll start crying. <laughs> Don't tell mom that. She'll start crying. So what do you think you want to be when you grow up? Um, I'm really into sports. And huh? I love to be a football general manager. Make trades. And, uh, Can you please be the general manager of the Dallas Cowboys? No. <laughs> no! Oh my God. No! Go Eagles! Go Eagles! Eagles on top. Let me roll up my sleeve here. You said go Eagles. My dad's from Philadelphia, so. Okay, okay. We will never see eye to eye on this, Ryan, ever. But one thing we will see eye to eye on, you know I'm a big WWE fan. I really love WWE. Oh, really? Hmm, that's interesting you say that because we wanted to give you something because we just think we feel like you're a champion, your greatness. So listen to this. We're giving you a WWE championship title. WWE fans around here, we know some people who know some people who know some people, and I made a call. And you may have been to, uh, you know, you said you've been to a WWE before. Yeah. I bet you've never been invited by Cody Rhodes. Take a look. 
Hey there, Ryan. This is WWE superstar Cody Rhodes. I am so impressed that you're a young, aspiring inventor, and I hear you're a WWE fan. Well, Ryan, I'm a fan of yours. I'd like to invite you to an upcoming show, and of course, you're gonna get the superstar treatment, which includes a backstage tour. So be sure to wear that title so that all your favorite superstars can sign it, and I will see you there. That's right, it's a once in a lifetime WWE experience, not just for you, your whole family going with you. And hey guys, listen, in June 2024, Ryan will be competing in the Raytheon Technologies Invention Convention US Nationals at the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation in Dearborn, Michigan. Now, Listen, Ryan, you cannot show up at the competition wearing the WWE belt, okay? You can, the kids might get a little intimidated. And Somebody, I'm struck fear in their eyes. 